What's up everybody, Rudy here. Today is May 9th, 2022. I'm here at 1544 Harbor Boulevard in the city of Anaheim at the Best Western Plus Park Place Inn and Mini Suites. Woo, that's a mouthful. All right, well, let's get right to it. Let me show you around what this place has to offer. Let's have some fun. So for starters, above anything else, price, comfort, amenities, anything. You literally can't get any closer without staying on property. Stepping inside the lobby here, we have a special guest. Look who it is. It's mommy having fun. <laughs> Look at there's a oh, business center. Oh, check this out over here. Got a little business center over here first and foremost. Plenty of computers and printers and chairs to do your business. Over here in the corner, a small convenience store slash gift shop with a few Disney merchandises. Uh, small snack area, as well as some frozen foods and some drinks. Pay right here on the little kiosk. It's an ATM if needed. One of the pluses as well is they have their own um, scooter rental area, which is very affordable. I believe my mom got a scooter here for $65 for the day. Typically, like if, the, if you get it at the park or whatever, it's gonna be $85 or more. Very strict about parking at this hotel. Um, registered guests only, $15 per day. And it's my understanding that it's from the time you check in around three o'clock till 3 p.m. the next day, it's 24 hour cycle. When you check in, you get this little hotel card that you beep boop into the machine, lets you in. If you lose this, they're gonna charge you $75. So hang on to that bad boy. So parking was 15 bucks a day. We paid for two days, as well as the room, which was $215. I booked it straight on the website because if you go through Expedia, you're gonna pay probably another $40 more than necessary. Um, so taxes, fees, parking for this big beautiful building was $260 for one night. So let's just get right into it. Here's what the room looks like. Number 114, first floor, right down here next to the pool. All right, here we go. So right out the gate, as I walk in, first thing I notice is there's no funny smells, right? Which is always a good thing. Nothing like super floral or any, nothing. Like it just doesn't smell, right? And then also, say hi mom. Hey. Hey. Uh, everything is updated, right? New tables, new furniture, the walls are nice, carpet's great. Everything in here is, is nice. Also, pretty spacious in here. We had room for mom's scooter. We have an extra table to eat our free breakfast at, which I'll show you later. A desk to do your business. TV's meh. Check out this fridge. Uh, above average size mini fridge with plenty of space inside. Not always offered, but sometimes a nice little microwave here to heat something up if need be. Over here in the bathroom, I've noticed there's all these lights up here, but they don't really give you good light, right? Most of the time there's like lights around here, or it's a little lower. So the lighting in this place isn't the best I've seen. Plenty of room in the closet. Um, I've got a hand, uh, iron and an ironing board like they normally do uh, in most hotels, plenty of hangers. There's no lockbox in here. So if you did want to lock something up, they do have safety deposit boxes behind the front desk free of charge. Got a little coffee pot machine here. Plenty of coffee for your uh, caffeinated needs. I always like to check the quality of the towels. And I gotta say, the towels here are nice and soft. They seem to be pretty good quality. And then of course, what kind of soap do they use? This particular company uses Pharmacopia, body lotions, uh, conditioners, soaps, all that stuff. Seems like a good brand. All of it's citrus, citrus scented. So there's that. Water pressure's not bad. You can work with that. 
not only the towels, but even the even the, the toilet paper. They're using Angel Soft. They're not going cheap on the toilet paper either. Mom's been testing out the bed here for at least an hour. What do you think of the? It's nice. It's nice, right? Very comfortable. Yes. I'll be the judge. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, very, I gotta say, very quality mattress, and the pillows are nice and firm but soft too. Yeah, I give this two thumbs up for sure. Four. Four, th four thumbs up. Another thing I like to always point out here is they've got these great little plug sockets here on the lamp right next to the bed. Gotta have that. That's a must. All right, so that's everything basically in the room here. Now I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna show you the pool. I'm gonna show you the laundry room and also what's in the vending machines because I don't spare any detail at Rudy having fun. Vending machines are right on the back side of the pool here on the first floor. They're essentially located, you got an ice machine and one soda machine. I don't see any, any other vending machine other than this one here. It's, it's got Coke products and there's another ice machine over there, but that's it. And then on the other side, of the pool here is the laundry room. We've got two washers, two dryers. Looks like they're four four dollars a load. And then they have soap and dryer sheets also for two dollars if, if needed. You can also use a credit card here with this little doomahickey. Here's the pool area with plenty of seating. The pool goes up to six feet. There are rooms that have pool view as well as a nice little jacuzzi over here. The shower here to rinse off before going in, as well as bathrooms here at the pool. All right, it's the next morning and I gotta say, slept really well. Everything about this hotel has been very nice and comfortable. The service has been really good. So all of those things are very positive. Real quick, I wanna show you just across the way here, right across where we went in for parking, I showed you that earlier. That door up there and those stairs right there is where you go and get your breakfast. I did ask the lady at the front desk a few questions about the hotel. Some of these upper levels have bigger suites. And then I also asked her about uh, fireworks viewing, which there was no fireworks last night, but if there was, there's not really any place here to view fireworks like some of the other hotels. But if you do get some of the front rooms towards above the uh, front desk, you can view them from your room. Otherwise, you'd, if you weren't in the park or the esplanade of the park itself, you would have to uh, watch it from the street. So there's that. So let's head upstairs real quick. I'll show you what they have for breakfast, and then I'll wrap this thing up. All right, here we are up upstairs, heading in to see what breakfast is like. Looks like it's buffet style. Eggs, potatoes, eggs, potatoes, pork, waffles. Yeah. We've got oatmeal. What are you stuffing in your pockets? I, I, I carry it Cereal. Yeah. Donuts. We've got a little fresh fruit, whole selection of beverages with decaf, regular coffee, water, orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, milk. And then they got a little refrigerator of yogurt here too as well, so pretty good selection. One with the cheesy eggs, two sausage patties, and some potatoes. Mom got the yogurt. Regular eggs. Coffee. So it's pretty basic stuff, but it, I believe it's all you can eat too. So definitely a nice addition. I would say. Save 40 bucks. All right. So uh, that's it for this hotel tour. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, we do appreciate it, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>